I wasn't planning on starting to do this yet, but I saw a post on Twitter that I really needed to talk about. And it's the man maker, and yes, I'm leaving the name, because he paid for the fame. You can't keep a woman who belongs to the streets. I didn't make the, these rules, nature did. Then he continues by saying, attention, most men don't understand the basic raw nature of women. That's why they ended up in messy, in mess, I'm sorry, every time. Get to all known secrets of women that have been kept hidden from us for the past 5,000 years. Now, if you look at the images, it says women deceptions mastered the art of detecting her big, big lies. Women lie about everything, being virgins, who got them pregnant, domestic violence, body count. <sighs> Women's secrets, collective wisdom of the last 5,000 years, the unapologetic truth about female nature. Women's sexuality, the naked truth about her body counts, dismantling women's body count myths and propaganda. And then some other masculine writer who also paid for the fame says, the crazy part is, for some three or fours, this line is actually short. And they're talking about the line in the first image. Now, the funny thing about this is that I had no idea what three or four meant, so I had to go look it up. And sure enough, it's talking about promiscuous women or um, street walkers or however other euphemism you want to use for prostitute. Here's my thing. I went ahead and if you hear a sound, it's probably because I'm looking for my answer to this. Because when I saw it, I had to. I went ahead and quote tweeted him. And I said, attention, this man, like most men, have no idea what women think. Instead of wasting your time on an overpriced course that will not teach you what you want to know, ask a woman. That is free and you will get all the information you need. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Then I quote tweeted the second part where he's saying, attention, most men don't understand the basic blah, blah, blah. And I said, women lie about everything. End quote. Because men are honest about their skills, abilities, education, financial situation, and penis size. Let me correct you. Women will lie if you lie to them. We don't have to automatically trust you. You want honesty? Be honest. Now, normally I wouldn't say anything about anything because I really don't want to get into it. But let's keep it real for a second and <sighs> listen. If you're a man and you're wasting your money on a product designed by a man that claims to be rich, famous, powerful, keep in mind that what he talks about is probably not the way it is. And what I mean by that is a man that actually believes this stuff and lives his life under this idea that women are, lie about everything and that they have high body counts and all this other stuff, that's because that's who they surround themselves with, if they believe it, okay? Because there's two types of men in this category. There's the man that will preach all this nonsense about women being hoes and you have to dominate them and whatever. And they totally believe that crap. And they totally surround themselves with women that are that way. Then you have the guy that's smarter than that and he's actually made money out of this gig because... He realizes that even though this is all crap, he can make a lot of money out of it. So he's the one with the good wife at home who they both take challenges head on and they're both making it. And, and she might even help him with the business because the thing is they want to make money. So they have the lifestyle that you would, I'm sorry, the lifestyle that you wish you had. So my advice to you is simple. If you really want to know what the woman that you like thinks, ask her. If she doesn't like you back, it's okay. I will never understand why men complain so much about women not liking them when they don't like every woman they meet. Chances are you've met somebody in your life that actually liked you back, but you didn't like her or them or whatever. And that's part of the issue here. It's always okay for us to do things, but it's not okay for people to do the same things to us. It's like a man that 
is very proud of the fact that he cheats on every woman he's ever been with. And then a woman cheats on him. And he will call her every name on the book because a woman shouldn't cheat on a man. Guess what, fucko? You shouldn't cheat on your woman either. And by the way, this goes for straight couples and it goes for gay couples too. Don't think I don't see you either. Because I do. Y'all are just as bad as straight couples. So, again, my advice to you, if you're a man and you need some advice on how to pursue women or how to talk to women or whatever and you don't feel comfortable going and talking to the girl that you actually like ask a friend of yours and be ready for some honest conversation about what you're doing wrong and instead of getting defensive actually internalize what she's saying figure out which parts you can deal with because they're not they might be things that you learn from other guys and you don't really care about them And actually go ahead and find what exactly you're doing wrong from somebody that will have the guts to tell you the truth because that, my dear, is a friend that you want to keep for life. Also, ask someone that doesn't like you why they don't like you. You will be surprised to what you find out. And by the way, most of it is baloney because it's their own uh, mentality or whatnot. But some people have great insight on what you're doing wrong just because they can't stand you. So they have more of an eye for the things that you do wrong. And if you don't have anybody, talk to me, okay? If you want to talk to somebody, just talk to me. Tell me, what do you think I'm doing wrong? And be honest when you're talking to somebody, especially if it's a professional or somebody that doesn't know you, like me. I'm not a professional, but I'm somebody that doesn't know you. So if you're going to come and tell me, oh my God, every time I go on a date, she doesn't call me back or she's not interested or whatever. Instead of telling me that, tell me every time we go on a date, I eat with my hands or I talk about my last girlfriend or I don't let her talk. I just talk about sports because I'm so nervous and I just talk about things that I know. And I can guarantee you that we can help you fix what's wrong with you so that the next date doesn't go as bad as the last one. Anyway, thank you for watching. And if you like this kind of content, let me know. It's called Twitter Files. See ya.